You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. Right, we're out and about here at BRFM. We're in room and we're joined with Chris Ree. Welcome along to the show. Well, thank you, Daniel. Now, this is part of the regular slot I've been doing. I've been catching up with the artists each time they display their work um, in room. Um, You're the artist in residence at Room at the moment. Uh, can you tell us what the name of your project is and a bit about it for our listeners? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, the title is In the Midst of Life, the Theatre of Death. Um, and it's a, an art installation, mainly photographs and also um, like a, almost a theatrical set um, to remind people what mausoleums, chapels of rest that sort of thing. Um, I've been uh, to lots and lots of different graveyards um, and I've taken photographs of graves and and the whole um, the whole of the graveyard. For instance, Dead Man's Island, which is a bit different from the your average every day where there's bones scattered about and sections of coffins scattered about on the beach. Um, that's probably the most gory. Um, other places, I went to Palermo in Sicily, right. and uh, that's really where I got the idea for the whole exhibition. I was going to ask that, yeah. how did that idea come about? Yeah, well, I, I was in, in Sicily, and uh, we were in the most fantastic graveyard there, where there are statues, huge um, tombs with the whole families inside, flowers yew trees and it's all very very beautiful um, there is also there a, a unique thing I think it's unique in the world it's called the cappuccino well it's not actually the cappuccino but it's a bit like that the catacombs right. uh, and they're down under the earth and it's a special place where bodies are preserved and they they're all displayed in their in the costumes that they wore um, and you can walk along these corridors and see hundreds and hundreds of, of well, dead bodies. Um, so that was quite interesting. And then I remembered I had got photographs from Highgate Cemetery in London, which is a very famous one, uh, as well as much more local ones, Queenborough, um, Minster, Halfway Cemetery. Um, one of the other things that we've done in this project is we've had two graveyard walks. Right. Yeah, the first one was at um, Queenborough and and people came along and David Hughes, a local historian, told people lots of the history of the graveyard and the church. Um, And then that was one week and the next week we took a walk at halfway and lots of people came and joined us. Some people took photographs themselves. Um, so with those photographs and photographs that I already had um, from Wales and um, lots of other cemeteries, uh, I've, I made the exhibition. I think there's about 30 photographs in here and they're all framed up in different frames. Um, so it, it's a, a real variety. Some of the photographs I have... Um, tweaked or kind of not pho- like photoshop right, yeah. and change them a little bit um, we have draped room in black velvet I was going to say that there's quite an atmosphere here <laughs> yeah we, we've, we've made it a, a really good atmosphere we've got lots of candles burning we've got um, a funereal music playing um, we've got the odd skull and the odd uh, death mask um, and when you come in, it, it really gives you a, a lovely, tranquil atmosphere. We've got lots of flowers and all the kinds of things that you would have in a, a chapel of rest or, or, a, or a mausoleum. Um, that's the that's the atmosphere and the effect that I was aiming at. Yeah, you feel quite a different atmosphere because I've been coming, as I say, on a regular basis, catching up with the different artists as they show their work, but this has really completely changed the way room normally feels. It does, yes, yes. Because um, we've worked in room on some of the other exhibitions as well and um, I was determined to... We filled the place. 
We, you know, there's, there's, there's hardly an inch where there isn't something or other uh, to show. And we've had also on the computer, we've been shown videos of the photographs and also the uh, catacombs. Um, so they're there. So you continue <laughs> to keep the atmosphere going? Keep the atmosphere, keep the theme, um, so that the, that you it really gives you that feeling. Because cause I come really, my background isn't so much art as drama, and so that's why I've called it the theatre of death. It's, it's the way that death is celebrated um, in in lots of different um, societies. There's also a book which tells you some of the rituals that are used in other parts of the world to, to do with death and bodies. Chris, I'd like to thank you very much for um, giving us the time here at BRFM and explaining a little bit about um, your artwork and piece here in Rome. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you.